CJ correct over to you, mate. How did you see that one? Watch him get so well to fight back and jump out to the lead. And it's pretty, pretty helpful to go for that last quarter. How did you see the boys' reception of that gun? Well, I said to the boys at half time when you can go back in the locker room, which are head hell high and, uh, under, and know that you've given your all, be first to the floor today and um, do the little things and win in those areas. I think we'll all be proud of what we, we've come here to do. I think any time you play two games in, uh, in, a, in a week, it's, it's, you know, it's been a roller coaster and you, you have a lead, you don't have a lead and it's staying focused and being able to do the job. So proud of how we handled this that game, I guess. And then, um, yeah, I mean, there's always shots throughout a game. No board here, you could have gotten, you know, a missed shot here, an opportunity, a missed free throw here. So, but we got some really good looks and, yeah, like I said, I'm, I'm proud of our guys. Uh, DJ, what did you make? I'm happy with your own. I mean, it's Robert Frank has been in great form. It's a great clash between you two. What did you make of your own game? And did you feel like when you, that third turn, when you got out tonight, did you feel like you're in a position to go on with it and that you maybe kick away from it. Yeah, I thought, you know, we responded. I don't think we started the best, but um, after half time we came out really strong in that third and got up like we have in a lot of games this year. And um, just going into that fourth, I think, you know, we played our ass off. I think uh, we looked after the ball, uh, turnover count, we won that. We won the rebounding, took a lot more shots than them. So there's a lot of positives there. Um, just a few players down there and, and they shot the ball really well tonight as well. So credit to them. And, um, but like CJ said, happy with the effort. CJ, you know Jason Kennedy very well. Um, sometimes the play just gets hot. I mean, were you, were you reasonably happy with what you did on him? And it's just a matter of if a guy's going to hit five threes in four minutes, there's not a, not a whole lot you can do sometimes. Well, it's been alert. Like, I mean, I've we went over the scout beforehand and you know the boys know who Jason Kadee is and and what he's capable of doing and I know he didn't shoot the ball well against the Hawks and but coming home and you know, his confidence he just played for the 36ers and yes he he knows how to play this game and run it and run it, this team very well as we as I know and like you know but um yeah it's a, good players make good players and you know he stood up today which was you know yeah, good on him you touched on it in your first answer, but I feel like you played pretty well tonight. I mean, there's obviously little things that you can do better and differently, and and that ultimately decides the game. But are you pretty happy with most of what you did? Today? Yeah, I think it. I mean, everyone that stepped on the floor gave gave something, and I know that Kai didn't play a whole lot tonight, and you know, then see Jack Salt and you know, and, and others that you know. But I thought for the way this game went and the momentum shifts. Could have gave him a few more minutes here or there, but I, I was happy with everyone that stepped on the floor and what they gave. Um, yes, there's always some things, as I say to the group all the time, there's there's a turnover or a pass here that just doesn't need to be made, but that's also part of the game. And we've got to learn and keep growing in, the, in those spaces. But yeah, it was, um, yeah, I'm, 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 I was very happy with, you know, from a second game standpoint and how we came, like, not how we came out, clearly, because he, he got hot early, but it's paying attention to the details always. And, and if we, we do the little things, I think a lot, a lot of things takes care of itself. You've played and coached against DJ for you know, the last 10 plus years, and, and now you get to coach him. I mean, every time he touched the ball today, whether or not he was he was shooting it or, or then he was able to you know pass it out, out of the block and set up his teammates. Yeah. What's it been like for you to coach DJ this year? Well, definitely been awesome. You know, always when you get to coach superstars in our competition that have runs on the board um, all the way through their career, you know, from his time in Melbourne to him going to Adelaide and what he's established in Adelaide. Um, he's uh, definitely in a, an elite uh, space that not many Australian players get to be in. And I think tonight he showed his poise. Uh, he, he, like you said, he made passes when they doubled he saw that um, and we went over different things and you know he was at a, at a best man he went to a wedding last night it's, it's my man's birthday you know so he, he was very focused and to go do that to come in today to give what he he gave as you saw from the numbers to how he played defense against Franks who's an elite player um, yeah he's he's one of those guys that you, you he's been built around and is a, a big piece of this going forward. Happy birthday, DJ. Um, your 
You're finishing this season really well, personally, in good touch, and it looks like you're healthy. Are you feeling pretty good at the moment, even though, obviously, the team situation isn't quite where you wanted it to be? Yeah, I mean, I feel good. Um, I think it's just adjusting to, to new things. Um, obviously, we've had, you know, big changes in our lineup throughout the year. Um, guys coming in and out, so just adjusting to that. But um, yeah, I'm just focusing on my effort every week, trying to keep that focus and and be a leader. Um, you know, we've got a young group, inexperienced group, so that's kind of my job for the rest of the season. Just keep being consistent and and just being someone that can rely on game in, game out. You got three weeks and six games to go, DJ. What do you what do you hope to see? You know, from the team to finish out this season. I mean, we just talk about not fracturing, like just staying together and, and getting something out of it. Um, you know, they're all great guys, they're all good people. Like, I don't think that's going to happen. I think we're going to we're going to play it out to the end. But you know, guys are playing for contracts there. But I think if we can show that we're you know a united group and and we can play together, play the right way, play the way CJ wants us to play, then you know hopefully we can get guys back next year that that can help us. Um, you know, add some guys to that and, and hopefully build from here. Thanks, guys. Thank you.